All right, I'll start with a disclaimer. This isn't really a true unboxing because I've already been playing the Switch that I have now for like three weeks and I'm just now getting around to making a video about it, but I've said it before and I'll say it again coronavirus content. Yo, so what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you are new here and this is your first time seeing my hideous face, do yourself a favor, subscribe, turn on those post notifications. Let's hit 10,000 subscribers. So yeah, today I have the Nintendo Switch Lite. It's the gray color and like I said, I've been playing it for about three weeks now. Um, I've been totally obsessed with the new Animal Crossing game, but I never got around to making an actual unboxing video. So what I do have is the original box that it came in. It got a little damaged, I don't know how or why, but anyway, that's not important. I picked the Switch Lite over the regular Switch because I did not have the money to blow on something that I could already dock to my TV when I already have an Xbox. And also that brings up the point, sorry that this whole area is kind of like, I'm in the spare bedroom, if that's not obvious, by my surroundings. So we have a little change of location today for filming the video. I'm just chilling in this big comfy rocking chair and we're living our best lives. Actually, let me show you what kind of setup I have going on right here right now. So I have my iPod right here and the light is on. So we have a little extra light. There's my reflection in the TV, but I got my Xbox, my wallet and my whole little setup and the switch is down here. But I just figured it would be fun to do like a little unboxing and then show you guys what I actually have on my switch already. So so without any further ado, let's open up the box like it was the first time again. I don't even know how I put this back in here. Hold on, there we go. All right, so the box is fairly simple. You just pull it out here and then you're immediately presented with the switch itself. And you know, obviously if it was new, it came in like a cellophane wrap and then you had your charger and your paperwork and stuff, but we're not here for all that. We're just here to see the switch itself. So I picked the gray color over the yellow or blue just because I thought it looked so much more sleek, the white contrast, the buttons, and like, I don't know, it's just such a cool looking device. But yeah, it's already powered on. And I guess I'll show you guys what I have on my switch now. So other than the new Animal Crossing, I have been totally obsessed with. I've also been playing a lot of City Skylines. I also have Roller Coaster Tycoon World, which is a really fun game. Um, it's basically building an amusement park completely on your Switch. It's a lot of fun. Animal Crossing, City Skylines. I have Untitled Goose Game. YouTube, of course, because I like to watch YouTube on the Switch, especially at night when I don't want to play with my phone. Or, um, I do have Sonic Forces, which is I have on cartridge, actually, inside the Switch right now. Stardew Valley is a lot like Animal Crossing, but it's super fun. I love this game a lot. I have Cuphead, Fortnite, of course, you can't go wrong with that, and Hulu. And then I have a couple spaces here for some leftover games that I plan on buying relatively soon. I really want Zelda Link's Awakening because I know I love Zelda. I loved Breath of the Wild. I want to get it again so I can play through it one more time. And I would love to get the new Link's Awakening. I have not played that yet, but I've heard nothing but good things about it. One of my favorite games that I've been playing a lot of, though, I said is is Cuphead and I am struggling so hard to make it past the first stage like the first run and gun and the first boss those things are so hard to beat and I don't have any gameplay videos but I'm sure if you look it up on YouTube you'll find some playthroughs. Cuphead is basically all bosses it's incredibly hard it's all shooting and I don't even know how to explain it it's just a game that you'd have to play to figure out and it's it's so much fun though it's so frustrating like I get so frustrated playing it because I can't get past any of the stages, but it's a great game. Stardew Valley is super relaxing, it's super chill to play, and like I said, it's a lot like Animal Crossing, but not really. Untitled Goose Game is just a lot of fun. I love Untitled Goose Game, and I would do a little bit of gameplay, but that's not what you guys are here to see. You're here to see the unboxing and the whole what's on my Nintendo Switch. But basically, you just get to run around playing as a goose, tormenting people, and it's a lot of fun. City Skylines is a city planning game. It's super addicting. Uh, there's not a lot to say about that, because the Nintendo Switch version is pretty watered down, but I have it on my Xbox as well, and I'm totally addicted to it. And currently what I'm playing right now is Roller Coaster Tycoon Adventures, where you can select either your scenario modes or sandbox, which is like building your own park with no limits and stuff. It's so fun though. Oh, and one more thing I forgot. I do have this carrying case that I keep my Switch in. You know, it just sits right inside, you close it up, zip it, and it's good to go. Nice and protective, keeps your Switch safe, and it's just easier to carry around in this thing. Anyway, that's the video. I know it was kind of short and pretty terrible but like I said you know it's that coronavirus content if you guys enjoyed nonetheless be sure to like the video subscribe turn on those post notifications let's hit 10,000 subscribers and until next time this has been given I'm signing off and I will see you guys in the next one keep on keeping on and peace out
goes my Xbox controller.